video coverage is brought to you by Dynamic Discs. Check out dynamicdiscs.net for your disc golf gear and, of course, for the latest in discs. And by Cool Daddy Slick Breeze. Be sure to visit CoolDaddySlickBreeze.com for more disc golf videos. Mega kudos go to the City of Grand Prairie Parks and Recreation. And here to welcome you this morning is the Chairman of the Board of the Parks and Recreation of the City of Grand Prairie, B.J. Nichols. Good morning, guys. What a wonderful day. I think you guys are a hearty lot to get out of this kind of weather and play on this course. I just want to welcome you today from the City of Grand Prairie, Grand Prairie Parks and Recreation Department, Jim Dart and the guys at the Parks and Rec Department who worked real hard to make this up. But we think it's a pretty nice course and we hope that you all have a great time today. Okay, McCabe. Yes, sir. Tell us a little about this course here. Um, it's a new course, fairly new. Uh, a lot of elevation for Texas. Uh, it's got a variety of just about every shot, some hills, some trees, uh, new tee pad, so it's going to be a good time. What are you going to bring to this game, Miles? I'm gonna bring myself and hope that's enough. <laughs> no, it, it'll be good. It'll be good. It's a good course and uh, it's a fair course. So the best golfers of the day are gonna win this one for sure. What about you, Liz? Well, I'm gonna bring enough to hopefully satisfy myself because I'm in a solo division. So let's try to play my best. And what's up? What do you gotta tell all those women? Out I there? know, right? Come out and play. <laughs> <laughs> Glass blown. The glass blown open, the eight that he runs is huge. Glass blown. The glass blown. Glass blown open. Glass blown. The glass blown open. Without a doubt. Alright, let's talk a little bit about some distance today. 
I prefer the Z Force or the new ESP Nuke is my uh, long range distance drivers right now. Uh, like probably 95% of the people out there, I use the X Step, and I'm going to step you through that right now, real quick. Uh, it's typically about three steps. Uh, here they are, right here. It's one, two, and three. It's that simple, it's pretty basic. Uh, everybody does it out there on tour. Uh, it's something you should really get to know. If you look, if you're a righty, right handed thrower, you tip, take your right foot front, your left will come behind, and then it's kind of a hopping motion. Another really important thing to remember is your arms. I typically like to bring my back as far as possible. Bring it back as far as possible. You see people doing those big 360 drives. Can't do them, I never get the uh, consistency down or anything like that. So it's pretty much the same concept. Bring it back as far as you can, as straight as you can on a straight line and follow it through. Um, I see a lot of people, the mistakes they're making is, you know, they're bringing the disc way out here and they're not getting any distances at all. Uh, I like to bring it in as close as I possibly can for that extra torque and snap. And uh, another good thing to try is get some flexibility in your back. Do lots of stretches, you know, the stretch band, those things work out wonders for people. Uh, flexibility goes a long way. Uh, let's throw a couple shots. Dirty Dozen Tour is the Monkey Island Open in Emporia, Kansas. Sign up right now at dynamicdiscs.com. My name's Jim Dart. And uh, I understand you designed the course we're at at Turner Park here. What, uh, what were some of your thoughts when you designed some of the holes here? Well, the first thing that really came to mind was all the uh, hills. Got some absolutely fantastic terrain. We, the trees are, there's plenty of trees, but they're big enough to where we can shoot under them. Uh, the hills really lend themselves to uh, what we call putts of death. You can go from a birdie to a bogey really fast out here. It kind of makes it fun. It's part of the challenge. A lot of the trees also make nice little tunnels. We have an air tunnel. We've got lots of other tunnels. The course lends itself to just about every shot in your arsenal as well. There's lots of holes that are good for rolling, lots of holes that you might even want to throw a putter on. We've got hyzers, we've got anhyzers. Uh, the, it's just the terrain makes it just absolutely wonderful. The fact that the parks and rec mow the grass, it's like playing on, on green velvet in, in springtime and summertime. Do you, get, do you get a lot of support from the community, the Grand Prairie community? Oh, the uh, Grand Prairie Parks and Recreation has really made this happen. They have uh, stepped up, they funded the whole thing. We didn't really even ask them for money. We were just going to try to raise our own and they said let us do it. And they've been having that attitude of let us do it the whole time. It's just really phenomenal.